Hey guys, today we're building the letter A into a Blacksburg house. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this video for months and I actually have a really cool idea for how we could do this challenge. All of my shape challenges have been flat on the ground like a pancake and that's getting boring. Instead, what we're gonna do is have the letter stand up on the ground and a wheel will decide what style we should go for and how many rooms the house will have. We have five different options for style. We can either have modern, suburban, industrial, luxurious, or cottage. All right, wheel, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Luxurious. No way. That's so cool. Last time I used this wheel, I also got luxurious. So I'm a little bit tripped out. Now we're going to spin the wheel to find out how many rooms this house should have. It can either be five rooms, 10 rooms, 15 rooms, or 20 rooms. Okay. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Is it going to be 20? 20 rooms? No, no, no. Is it going to be 15? 20? 15? Oh, it's so close to 15. So you're telling me I got to do 20 luxurious rooms in an A-shaped house? What? So we need the legs to be really far apart from each other. Kind of like that. I think I'm going to make it three blocks wide. I wonder if three floors is good enough or is that too little? Are we going to need more room to work with to create the shape? Oh, it's already kind of coming together though. You know what? We might have to make it more than just three floors. I'm not seeing how three floors is going to be possible. I think our letter A could look like this or something like this. The way that I created this was using slanted roofs and and some basic shapes. Even though the shape looks cleaner, there's kind of a problem with it. If you wanted to add windows, you can't really add them on these basic shapes. And you also can't add them over here on the sides because it's a slanted roof. I think this is the best I can get it. Now it's time to actually figure out where we're gonna put the door. I think I'm gonna choose this as a door. Now I'm gonna make the walls be planks because I feel like we can make this look luxurious. Oh, why is it being glitchy like this? I made the texture of this be roof tile and it looks like the letter got a buzz cut. Now I'm gonna grab this framed window. I feel like this can look pretty luxurious. We can't put it over here because we got the basic shape. So we're just gonna put it in these different rooms. Wait, I'm actually getting really excited So I want two windows here and another two windows here And then I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side as well. This is tripping me out This is so weird. This top floor has so much room. Our wall is glitching out It's a little overwhelming. What I really want to do over here is I want to have a balcony So I'm gonna add a fence so you don't fall off and hurt yourself. It's a very very tall house It almost feels like an apartment complex. It's time to create the floor plan and let's not forget We need to create 20 rooms in this tiny Tiny house. I did not expect 20 rooms to take me that long to outline. I would show you the floor plan through editing, but it's really complicated. So I'm just going to show it through my notes. These are all the rooms I made. And if you're wondering how I'll be able to know which room is which, I added like an object that reminds me of that specific room. So I added a book for a library. I added a computer for an office. What we're going to start off with is this entryway. <laughs> so we have to make sure to add marble and gold. Choose, you know, things that look kind of fancy. That's why I made these stairs be marble because we're going for luxurious. I'm gonna give them some flat crown molding as well because I feel like that's fancy. Oh my god, I have to add this in every single room. I can't believe this is 20 rooms. For this entryway, I'm gonna squeeze in this bathroom mat because it's just a carpet at the end of the day. I'm gonna put this illuminated mirror and it's good for the entryway so you can look at yourself right before you leave. Now we need a little entryway table so we can put our keys there. For that, I'm gonna use this hairpin end table. I'm gonna squeeze it in the corner so you can easily go to your library. Of course, you cannot forget get your slippers. I'm gonna put them underneath the end table. I'm gonna color it golden. You got some golden Gucci slippers. We need to put our umbrella stand and you need a hook rack to put your jackets. If you have an inset in your house, I consider you luxurious. I think it's because you literally carved out a part of your wall <laughs> to just put like one very simple decor. People really be carving out the walls to put like a candle in there, just one singular candle. I think that's gonna be our entryway. Now we're gonna move on over here and we have books on the floor. Therefore, it is the library. What do we need for our library? Oh, that's that's right, <laughs> a big bookshelf. And what we're gonna do is just copy and paste a bunch of books. And because we wanna make it look a little luxurious, we're gonna add this fancy floor plan. And then look at this light, it looks so smart. You look like you're super sophisticated if you have this lamp, it's giving educated. <laughs> I'm gonna put a pillow on the floor and it's gonna be one of those libraries that are like really chill that you can just hang out on the floor. Although I've never really been to a library like that. Entryway, library done. Moving on over here to the office. We know that this is the office because the pairing tosh is here. And oddly enough, there's two candles just staring at us. I wanna grab a desk and make it look marble. And I guess I'll just put these candles on this desk. I mean, I put the candles here for some reason. I don't even remember anymore. Oh, look at that pairing tosh. I don't know why, but I really want to give them this contemporary chair. I know it's a dining chair, but it looks so nice. I love this chair. I haven't used it in like forever. Yes, and then we're going to make it look golden. I feel like rich people have really empty homes, so we're going to keep the clutter minimal. So just one succulent there. What I'm actually doing is using these vine plants to like hide the fact that these are empty. <laughs> is there such a thing as a marble trash can? Never seen 
seen one. But you know what? Now we have marble trash can right there. We're gonna create like a sort of accent wall using LED lights. Wait, I feel like the more I add, the cooler it looks to me. It's like a bunch of stars on the wall. I decided to keep it simple and give them the simplicity dresser. I feel like it helps fill up space and you would have a dresser in your office, probably. We were in our office. We're gonna come upstairs and this is our lounge room. This is literally a room dedicated to chilling. That's why I put a lounge chair. Yeah, we could do a little bit of decor here. I think I'm just gonna put some more pillows on the floor. I don't think you're meant to really have a TV or like phones or anything here. You're just meant to like literally lay down, but not sleep. I'd say that the lounging room is done and now we're gonna move on over here. This is the flower room and we know this because there's a flower on the floor. <laughs> now, what is a flower room? I don't really know. I'm assuming you just have a lot of flowers here. At least that's what I'm hoping. You know what's gonna help us looking at photos on Google of what a flower room is? At its most basic, a flower room is a place where you can cut and arrange flowers. This is the place that brings the outside in. Actually, that's a nice way to look at it. It looks like a flower room is where you arrange flowers. So we need to give them a little desk and this is gonna be your flower arranging corner. Maybe we could use a shelf and pretend that's the desk. I'm gonna have the shelf here. I don't think it needs to be like super wide or anything. You just need a, you know, a place to put your flowers. Oh, you know how I'm gonna make it look like they're arranging flowers? By putting all these bouquets here. Flower arranging moment. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a vase and we're gonna put some flowers in here. I added as many flowers as I could. It looks pretty good. Now we're gonna move on from this flower room and go to this bathroom. I'm gonna bring the toilet over here and the sink on this side. For the mirror, I'm gonna use this horizontal mirror. I like using this and making it really tall. Feels very luxurious to me. And I'm gonna put these towel hangers next to the shower. We could have a little shelf over here and we could put toilet paper and towels on there. I'm gonna use the stair shelf. I wanna see if I can make a cool design with this. This little white bit should be marble. I feel like that'll make it look fancy. Oh, that's kind of cool. A couple of face towels for you. And here is your fancy toilet paper. Look how beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I actually don't mind this. It's a cool design. Candles in the bathroom. That's always luxurious, right? Now that our bathroom is done, we're gonna move on over here. I had to open my notepad for this because I forgot what this was. I just wrote art. So that's really not helpful. I think what I wanted this to be is like an art storage corner. It's all completed paintings and they're all just chilling here. They're all hanging out. I had all these paintings like on the wall and these easy but I think we still need a little bit more stuff. So I'm gonna yoink this piece of paper, put it here. I'm gonna pretend, actually no, not the piece of paper. We're gonna grab this blank piece of paper. We're gonna pretend there's drawings on there, okay? Maybe they write notes over here as well. Like what they like about their paintings or what projects to do next. This is not where they actually paint. This is just where they store everything. And I'm gonna use this basic shape to make like paintings. I don't wanna leave them on the floor. I kinda want them to just be leaning on this desk. It's like a lot of cluttered paintings. We're gonna have it lean like this. Easy peasy. And maybe another one just next to the desk over here. We're gonna have this one lean as well. All you gotta do is just put a decal on it and it's gonna look like a painting. I know, I did it very sloppily. You gotta resize it and everything. So that's gonna be our painting storage. And over here is our laundry. For this room, it's gonna be the easiest one ever. Wow, the room is done. All you have to do is just place this. Now we're on to the living room. Just grab the couch, turn it this way. Kind of get it out the way so people can like walk through here. And here's your wall mounted TV. I kind of want to give them a very fancy one. I think it's cause I feel bad that they have an ugly living room. <laughs> so here you go, fancy TV. I'm gonna make it golden too. Let's not forget the coffee table. I feel like that's too big of a table. This one's gonna do. Put some roses right here. I love these roses so much. I think that's gonna be the living room. And now, oh, we have to go upstairs again. What's over here? Oh, it's the kitchen. This is our ninth room. I guess I'll put the stove like this. I mean, I think you can still use it. Okay, it's gonna probably glitch you out and have you fall down the stairs, but it probably still works. I don't really wanna give them any cabinets. I'm gonna just give them a couple of shelves instead. And we're gonna make these a little wider. I think I want them to be like different widths. I don't want them to look exactly the same. I want them to be slightly different. Should I put groceries up there? How else will you know you're in the kitchen? A couple of cookbooks, a couple of mugs, a couple of cereals to chop it all off. A vine plant. That's our kitchen. What is over here? Oh, it's a seating area. Nothing too crazy. Just, you know, a nice place to relax. Unwind. I actually feel like I'm interrupting a meeting between these two chairs. Like they're just looking at me like, excuse me. Sorry. Just give me a second. I'll be done soon. Look at that view. Wow. I'm actually jealous. Now we're going to move on over here. And oh, it's the dining area. I kind of like that. So you grab your food over here and then you come to sit here. And yes, that is another laundry machine thingy. <laughs> We're gonna have four seats. I don't know how you're gonna squeeze yourself through here, but you'll manage. You'll be fine. I'll just like rotate it like this and maybe that'll help you. Or, you know, you could just jump over the table. That works too. I'm gonna use the square shelving. I'm actually gonna make it symmetrical on both sides. We're just gonna put a couple of books here. And yeah, I do have like differently colored books because variety. I like these panel curtains the most, honestly. I feel like it's overkill if I make it golden. We're just gonna 
gonna go for cloudy gray. Now that the dining area is done and I secretly added this washing machine, we're gonna move on upstairs again. So this is a kid's room. This kid gotta live lavishly. We gotta make it all marble. I usually don't ever do kids rooms because I never know what to put in them. So I just search kid and I add whatever I see here. So simplicity kids chair, just look outside the window. Look at the view. Oh, they're an artist just like their parent because the parent has like a painting storage thing and another painting area. That's cool. Wait, no, you know what? I'm gonna put the painting stand over here. So when they're painting, they sit on this chair and when they want to look at the view, they sit on the bean bag. That's a vibe. This little green part, I'm gonna make it golden because luxury. And you know what? Golden bean bag. It's the Gucci bean bag. This wall, I want to make it an accent wall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the LED lights from the parents' office and we're gonna come back to the kids' room and we're gonna create an accent wall with these LEDs and it's gonna look cool. I'm trying to imagine that this kid is like super inspired by the parent and that's why they have like the painting, the LED wall. This LED is a little bit more chaotic and it's not as nice as the parents' one, but it's fine. It's just an accent wall. I'm gonna give them those golden elephants <laughs> right here because it is a kid's room. You need some elephants, don't you? Wow, golden elephants, Gucci elephants. We love this. Moving on over here to the parents' room. We just need to get the essentials, right? So we need a wardrobe, hairpin one because we've been doing a lot of hairpin. Honestly, I think that's all we can fit. No joke. Just a bed and a wardrobe. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I will give them a blanket though. Here you go. Why does it feel like it's not bright enough in here? They already got this light, but it's doing nothing. We're gonna give them a very wide mirror, make it golden. They can look at themselves. Can we put like a little shelf here? We can put makeup on it. That would be good. I think I could fit a stylish chair underneath it. So far, so good. And now just add the makeup. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a little makeup corner. I see an opportunity for some vine plants. I'm really trying my best not to clutter this place up. This is meant to be more minimal. Finally, we are on our top floor and look at how goofy it looks. <laughs> so we have a bunch of rooms squeezed up here. This is the playroom. This is a workout room. We have a storage unit room and a music room. I recounted all these rooms over and over and over again. And I kept landing on 19. I don't know where the 20th one went. So what I did was make my own 20th room. The way that I did that was by adding these easels. It's an actual painting room, not a painting storage room. It's the painting room. That's why the paint bucket is here. I guess what we're gonna do is start off with this kid's playing room. It's only two by one. I think maybe a carpet would be a good idea for them. I'm sad that they don't have a window to look out of, so I'm gonna try to give them one. That's so much better. Now you have this beautiful view to look out of. All right, here's a little sand bucket. Please don't make a big mess. A bottle of bubbles. I'm sure that's gonna keep you occupied. Teddy bear. I'm gonna put the teddy bear next to the cat because that's cute. Honestly, I wanna give them as many of these different things as possible. That's the playroom. And now we're gonna move on to the workout room, which looks like it's already done. I'm gonna make it golden because don't forget, it's a luxury place. Yeah, I don't know what else to give them for a workout room other than mirrors. Here, some LED lights really kick up the pace. You know what would be perfect? Oh, radio so you could listen to music while you work out the same way they have it at the gym. That's the workout room thingy, right? Get you pumped up. I'm gonna make it golden. <laughs> Maybe you need a little light above you, like a saucer light. This one, the sleek ceiling light. There you go, have a nice time working out. Moving on to the storage room. This is literally just a general storage. What we're gonna put is like a couple of toilet papers. I feel like you need that for storage. Maybe paper. We're gonna pretend that these fragrances are actually empty and the person here doesn't know what to do with them. Maybe they have like some vases that they don't use anymore. Or maybe they're just waiting to use them for their flower room. That's kind of nice to think. And you know what? I'm just gonna give them a little bit more toilet paper. Storage room is done and now we have our little music room. This one's not gonna be anything too intense because all we need is some cool set of guitars. A drum set will obviously not fit. The piano definitely does not fit. I wish it could. Here's a rock star guitar. That's awesome. I don't like how it's just a wall here so I really want to add a window and that looks so much better. I can only imagine how amazing the view from the fifth floor is. Like look at this. That's so awesome. Music room is done. Now we have our little painting corner. I don't really know what else you might need for painting other than paint buckets, a couple of newspapers on the floor and obviously the easel. Can we get like paint brushes. There's no paint brushes, but we got some spray cans. Here's a few spray cans. Maybe they use makeup brushes as actual paint brushes. You never know. You could use makeup brushes as paint brushes. Like nobody makes the rules. All right. And that's the painting room. Wait, does that mean that we have done every single room? We made 20 rooms. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, wait, let me count them with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 rooms in a luxurious A-shaped house house. The total cost of our letter A shaped house is 124,000. Here are the surroundings. <laughs> As you can see, it looks like the letter A. It actually really does. Let's go inside, shall we? Okay, I'm excited. This is the entryway, the first room. This is the library, the second room. Now, if we go upstairs, we are in our living room with our fancy TV. And over through here is our painting storage corner. Lots and lots of paintings over here. Lots of planets. We got our laundry room. We got our bathroom through here. I like this 
this bathroom. <laughs> it's nice. This is different and it looks cool. And then we are in our flower room or well, flower making room, flower arranging room. Here is our lounge room. And if we go on upstairs from here, this is the dining area with another laundry room. Here is the outdoor seating area. Over here is the kitchen. And then if we go up here, we enter the first bedroom. And then up from here, we have our workout room, our instrument room, a little storage room, a little painting corner, and then a little playroom. And if we go downstairs from here, we're in the kids room. I like how we just landed right on the dresser. This is a very luxurious kids room, very golden. Go all the way downstairs because the last room is the office. Here is our fancy, fancy, luxurious office. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye.